Hello everyone, welcome to the video tutorial of Revolve Theme from Xexpress Themes. I'm Ellie. Well, in this video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can configure service section and block section as in our demo site. Well, you can find here, we have a horizontal slider scroll kind of a layout here in our home page where you can find this is the home slider and uh, <clears throat> these are the other sliders which are configured from its uh, particular pages so I'm going to show you how you can have this how you can configure this slider and uh, the service and block page as in our demo site so to let's get started by logging into your WordPress account first go to appearance and then click on customize since this is a customized based theme where all the configurations are done from here below general settings you will find home slider settings click on it the first is home slide here you need to put select an image that will appear at first of your uh, website's home page you need to upload from here when you remove an image you will find select image button click on it and select an image I'm gonna select the demo image that we have used then you can put caption title and caption content and click on save and publish now after this for next slide that is slide 1 here you will find select a page you need to make a page and the feature image that you have uh, placed in that page will appear on the slider so you need to do that and uh, then you need to put a caption title caption content and everything so before doing all this thing let me let us make a page go to pages and click on add new now here I'm gonna add service page. let me add a dummy text here after this from template here in our demo site we have used as you can see here when you click on services you will find a layout as such and that is here this is the parent page main page and here are the sub pages so if you want this kind of a layout then you need to uh, select scroll <coughs> sorry scroll page template from the right side of here then you need to set a feature image for the slider and after do doing this you need to publish it now let's make sub pages which you want to show as in our demo site so you can uh, let me show you my all pages I have already made two service page now let me uh, service sub pages now let me add one more I'm gonna write service one then put the demo content and for the sub pages you don't need to select any template and you just need to set a feature image and after this You can choose a parent page from here so that this page you are creating is a sub page of the parent page service now click on publish now after you have made a page and its sub pages then what you have to do is go to appearance and go to menus to add this menu right now we haven't made any menu so let us click on create menu Sorry, I think this have been made a menu. Let it, let me make uh, a new menu. Click on create a new menu and then put your menu title. Then click on create menu. After this, you need to select any page you want in your menus like service. And make sure to click on this primary menu and click on save menus now since we have chosen scroll page for services let's let me expand this here you have the option to display sub pages so make sure you check this and click on save menus I'm also going to add my home page you can set the order like this and click on save again 
Now let me go to my front end. Sorry, we have to uh, configure something in customize as well. Let me refresh this customize page and go to home slider section and in slide one, select the service page. Put the title, caption content. Here you also have the option to select widget, that is uh, whatever widget that you have placed in widget one that will appear above your slider. Well, for, for this, I'm not gonna select any widget and click on save and publish. Now let me go to the front end and check how will my website will look with this service section. So we find home, this is the home and in when you scroll down, you'll find services with the title that you have placed and a small subtitle. Then when you click on service, you will find your parent page title and its description along with other sub pages. As you can see here, service one, as in like this. It is pretty much as in our demo site that is with the parent page and sub pages. So in this way, you can have service section in your website's home page and on your menu. And the next page that we are going to configure is blog section, this blog page. Let me click on it and I'll show you how it is appearing. So if you want this kind of a page in your site as well, then what you have to do is, let me again go to customize. And in slide two, we, we're going to add blog section here. So for this also we will need a page. So let me make a new page. Go to pages and click on add new. Now put a page title, blog. You can put a dummy text or sorry, you can put your own text. I'm gonna put my dummy text here. Then select a template blog and set a feature image. This image will appear on the slider section and click on set feature image and now publish this page now after you have made a blog page selected a template what you have to do is you need to make blog category go to categories as you can see i have already made a blog category and added some post on it i'm gonna again show you how i have made this blog category you just need to put the category name as such and click on add new category then your then made category will appear here now when you click on here you can add your blog post for example when you go there you will have the option add new then you can add your sample so you can add your blog post that will show on your blog page you can put the text and then make sure to check the category you created for this post set a feature image and publish similarly you can add many posts by clicking on add new now right now we have some categories I have made this blog category with four blog posts as you can see now after this you need to go to customize Let's, let me refresh this customize page and in home slider setting on slider 2, I'm going to select this block. You can put ca caption title as blog or anything you want like news and uh, subtitle. Then what you can do is you can select a widget here as I have said earlier also. You can select widget 1 for this one and click on save and publish I'm gonna show you what we have in our widget one just go to appearance and then click on widget here in widget one we have placed AP feature post widget which you can get from here then you have the option to uh, show up to three feature post that is just go there and it will show all the posts that you have made I'm going to select uh, block 1, 2 and 3 for 3 posts and click on save. Now these 3 posts will appear above the block slider on home page. 
So after we've done this, we have, we'll save it and now we will add this block page in our menu as we have done for our service page. Just click on block from the left side on of pages and click on add to menu. Now this will be added here. Make sure to check this primary and click on save menus. Now after you've done this, let us go to our front end and see how will this appear. Well, this is the front end of our site and uh, here you'll find block on the menu. Along with this, you will find this on your slider section also. Since we have selected a widget uh, that is AP feature post, so three of our posts will appear here, which when clicked will take uh, you to their single post like this. And let me show you how our block page will show. When you click on block page, you will have all the block pages. Sorry, all the block posts like here, like this. Well, there are some other settings also which you can do from customize regarding this block page. So I'm going to show you where it is. You just need to go to customize and you will find block page setting. This is for the separate block uh, sorry block page so let's go here go to block page and you can you you can exclude any page you don't want to show there like if I don't want to show some categories then I just need to do is check it and click on save and publish I can also select a feature post that I want to show there like for example uh, I'm going to show this one, then I'll save it. And now let me go and check this block page. Now this is the feature post that you, you're going to show here, main fe uh, feature post that you want to show your website viewer to check at first. Then it will show all the categories that you have selected for this blog post, sorry, blog page. So in this way you can uh, add a service and blog page on your menu with their respective templates and uh, how and this is how you're gonna add your home page slider with this service and blog section so i hope this video is helpful to you in configuring these two sections in our revolve theme in our in your site if you have any confusion then you can always refer to our online documentation where we have it here like this in a clear description way with pictures and everything or you can write to me in the com comment section and I'll reply to you as soon as possible or you can go to our support here from this link you need to register there first and you can post your issues or you can email us in support at accesspressthemes.com and we'll try to help you as soon as possible so thank you very much everyone if you like this video thumbs up and subscribe to our channel thank you